thank you so much for coming. Two people I love, respect, admire and adore. Right here in front of me. How lucky am I? Now, Thanksgiving's tomorrow. Uh, Neil, what's the plan? You looking forward to you going to get together with family? I've... I don't want to say I've given up on my family. Okay. But... <laughs> La a couple Thanksgivings ago, I had the idea that we should have a game show where I'm one of 10 kids. Wow. Right. So I thought it'd be a good idea if we all moved in together, mm -hmm. CBS would film it, and America would vote us off one at a time. <laughs> it would be called Last Brennan Standing, mm -hmm. and the winner would get a million dollars and would be able to leave the family forever. <laughs> I Nick, would CBS go for this, do you think? It's possible. Maybe not the million dollars part, but the rest of it sounds pretty good. <laughs> Look at that. He's always thinking about the cash. What if we got it sponsored? Oh, yeah, then we're talking. Yeah, by, like, Toyota Tundra. <laughs> like, the last Brennan standing leaves in a Toyota Tundra. <laughs> do you think we get the million then? I think that, that sounds like we're on, we're on the right track. We're already yeah. cooking, Neil. We're cooking. Fantastic. We're cooking. I'm watching it. Yeah. Sure. yeah. I mean, you both come from big families. Yeah. And I understand this is where your, your performing uh, chops came in, because you and your, your siblings, you all used to perform right. at Thanksgiving. Well, is was, that right? I was the youngest of four, so I was always kind of, like, performing. But yes. I would uh, charge ticket prices. So oh, yeah. I would just gouge my family. I would Very make smart. tickets. Very and smart. Yeah. And I would do, like, I don't know, some kind of show. My dad had, like... What kind of show? What would you do? I would do, like, a, I don't know, like a talk show. Or I right. would do, uh, I don't know, like, dress up and, like, wrestle the couch pillows or something. I don't know. I would do whatever whatever there was to do. I would try to do it oh, for attention. The old Cardellini's couch pillow wrestling <laughs> mix. That's where yep, it was born yep, yep. at Thanksgiving. I mean, you were one of ten. Mm -hmm. So mealtimes must have been... Insane, right? Yeah, they were. Uh, they were insane. We like we couldn't. If someone called you between seven and eight on the phone and and uh, interrupted dinner, you were grounded from the phone for a week, even though it wasn't your fault. Uh, wild rules. We used to have to. There were too many of us, so we would have to make our lunches uh, in bulk on the weekends. Um, right. So we'd make ten. Well, we make five sandwiches for the week. Then we'd stick them in the freezer, and then we'd grab a sandwich on the way to school every day. And you may be thinking, it must not have made for a very fresh sandwich, but you're forgetting a more important piece of information, which is that sandwiches don't always thaw between 8 a.m. and lunchtime. No. <laughs> wow. Yes. And in those cases, we would just eat around the edges of the sandwich like rats on a pirate ship. <laughs> I mean, Linda, you've been in so many shows and movies. I imagine you must get recognized all the time. Which do you prefer if people come up to you? Do you prefer someone asking you for a selfie or someone asking you for a more traditional autograph? Oh, I mean, an autograph. We used to practice that when you were a kid, mm. you know, but nobody wants those anymore. Everybody no. just wants a selfie. But I don't know. I, <laughs> my favorite story about an autograph is that one time I was telling somebody how I sort of just don't get recognized. And they're like, oh, OK. And we were walking from a premiere to the party. And a woman chased me. I mean, really chased me down the street. And she was huffing and puffing. And I thought, oh, and she was yelling, Linda, Linda. So I turned around. She was, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. I chased you all the way down the street because I, I really want you to autograph this picture. And she pulled it out. And it was a picture of Linda Carter. Wow. From, <laughs> from Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. In the 1970s. Mm. And Linda Carter is also, like, beautiful and six feet tall. And I thought, Oh my God, and then I realized she was one of those people who probably just chases people that they hear are celebrities, but heard sure. Linda Carr and didn't hear the rest of it, Alini, and then thought I was Wonder Woman. But and did you sign it? I didn't sign it, but I took a picture of her with the picture. I have that somewhere. I'd have just signed it. Yeah. I'd have just signed it. That's what I'd have done. <laughs> yeah. I had someone a few years ago, Kimmel was hosting the Oscars, and someone came up to me and said, good luck tonight. This was on the Sunday. It was like 2 p.m. I was in Santa Monica. <laughs> and the show started at 5. And they went, good luck tonight. I can't believe you're out shopping when you're about to host the Academy Awards. <laughs> and I just thought, I'm going to go with it. And I just yeah. said, look, I'd just like to keep my mind off it. It's a big show. <laughs> so it's so cool. Could I get your autograph? And I said, absolutely. And he said, can I get a photo? Uh, and I said, sure. And he said, oh, my God, I'm going to watch tonight. My friends aren't going to believe this. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, you don't know how right you are. <laughs> do, you, do you get recognized a lot when you're out I and get, about? I call myself, I'm like, I'm about as famous as an NBA referee. <laughs> <laughs> Where they're like, I know I know you from somewhere vaguely. 
I'm, I call myself, fr I'm free sauce famous. Mm. Like if I go to a fast food place and I need extra sauce and it's like 30 cents, mm. they'll slide it to me and be like, big fan. <laughs> they make me pay for the entree. Of course. But yes. the sauce. <laughs> On the house. And I think that's, can I be honest, I think it's the perfect level of fame. <laughs> Free yeah. source fame is what everyone should strive for. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm there. You're right there. <laughs> now, Linda, we have to congratulate you on the third and final season of Dead to Me. It's been such a huge smash. For anyone who doesn't know, what's happening this season? Well, this season, um, Christina Applegate and I play these characters, Jen and Judy, and they're always kind of doing something they shouldn't be doing. And, you know, mm. even murdering people. So uh, this season, we are on the run still from uh, our past, and it's the third and final season, so some of those things will be sort of tidied up, and some questions will be answered, and it's the end of the show. So now, the stuff shows, happens. You've been on lots of big shows that have, that have ended uh, at various points. Yeah. Do, is it, do you ever take a memento from set? Oh, yeah, yeah, what, yeah. What, what did you take from Dead to Me? Uh, I took the outdoor furniture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my entire backyard is furnished with the uh, dead meat. That's a memento. I think that's called theft, isn't it? That's, <laughs> I, I was thinking a, like a mug. It's a nice gift. But did they give I, it to you as a gift, or did you just did. go, guys, yes. put this in no, there? No, yeah, like, yeah. just if you, if nobody's looking, put all oh, of that outdoor furniture. I've seen the show. You're right. It is nice It's furniture. really beautiful. It's yeah. a high level. Yeah. yeah. But we had a lot of, you know, really heartfelt moments on that, so... You know, I can, I can tell who's seen the show when they come over and sit in my backyard. If they're like, this looks familiar, then I know they've seen it.